Today's day one of the 65th Toledo Police Academy class. Let's go check it out. So Chief Carl just arrived at the academy. He's about to address the class and he was gracious enough to give us a few moments of his time to explain to us what he expects from the cadets. This is gonna be a culture shock that these guys have never seen before. There, there's no profession like this. We're not training to be accountants or work at Jeep or, or another profession. They're transitioning from citizen to peace officer. So for the next six months, they're, I expect them to keep their mouth shut, to study, to stay in shape, to ask good questions, and to practice safety. And by the time they get done with here, they're going to look completely different from this morning. I'm really excited to see the transformation. Uh, what piece of advice would you give to the cadets? That no matter what happens, even if you don't understand why you're doing what you're doing, everything is for a reason. They're going to get yelled at. They're going to have pressure. They're going to have deadlines. They're going to have stress at every turn. Everything is for a reason. What the cadets are experiencing right now is what the staff calls reflection. They will bring them out in the hallway, they'll have them do push-ups, sit-ups, wall sits, various other forms of exercise, and they intentionally break them down so they can build them back up in the form of a, of a police officer. Also to induce stress and see how they handle stress so they can better adapt to the stress that they're going to face out in the field. Everybody's breathing really hard. Perspiration dripping off of noses. Shirts untucked. Undisciplined. Why we're doing this is because someday you may have to come save my life. You may have to come save one of the staff person's life. We are not gonna let someone who cannot handle doing 15 push-ups out to protect me, to protect Sergeant Owens, to protect Officer Dumas. The office manager here, Ms. Dressel, her husband, Detective Keith Dressel, did not make it home one night. 
That's why we're making you go through this. Because you may be out there on a foggy February morning when you hear shots fired, officer down, officer needs help. That's why you're going through this hell right now. Suck it up. Thank you.